Welcome to The Undercurrent, your source for grassroots news. Occupy changed the national conversation and revitalized the progressive movement. They know that this is a union state and that we elect progressive people. None of the natural gas that will replace the coal will come from fracking. Fracking at that side. President Obama, grow some cojones and push for immigration reform now. Can you tell me what you think of Jeb Bush's approach to education? What's he doing right? No, we have no comment. Thank you. Governor Bush, one question. Go. On, the, on the elevator, please. Who does the government really want President Obama is wrong to, to try to set the minimum wage at $10. Senator Reid called on you to repudiate Richard Fink's remarks at the Coke retreat this summer. It was Senator Mitch McConnell's speech to the Koch brothers' political forum, supposedly in secret. And outsourcing American companies. I want them to build here. We have a, a picture of you working out with one of the Koch brothers. Do I have that? <laughs> yeah, here. You were kind of follow up. Are you bought and paid for it? Congressman, do you think Donald Trump is a good role model? <laughs> do you think Donald Trump is a good role model for Christian values? Um. You know, he's a better candidate than Hillary Clinton. She's certainly not a good role model at all. Like, what is the scale of resources? resources? What is it that you want to see happen? Yeah, so, um, I mean, we just want to see the biggest impact. You'd like to turn on TV and maybe not see how much did Donald Trump know and when did he know it? And is James O'Keefe still conducting political hit jobs on the president elect's behalf? Do you think that Bernie could have won in hindsight? Putin worked to make sure that Trump could get elected. It's good to see you again. So Countrywide Financial had $216 billion in assets prior to the implosion of the 2008 financial meltdown. Was Countrywide Financial a community bank in your opinion? Was Countrywide a community bank? We need a Secretary of State. Mm -hmm. And w this was not the result look, of any pressure look, from the Trump can administration? I, can I? No. no okay. I, I just wanted to make sure that was clear. Do you think it is appropriate for the President to threaten or intimidate officials from the Department of Justice? To threaten or intimidate officials at the Department of Justice? Oh, they've been treated extremely well, better than, I mean, the food they're getting, the education, the exposure. Uh, I mean, I, there's the possibility that people will be encouraged to come so that their children can go into that kind of uh, atmosphere. Is it your sense that children are being reunited with their families as applies to the court order in a timely manner? Uh, absolutely not. So far we've seen so little action. What can people at home do? You know, it's all of it. It's it's text, it's call, it's email, it's post on Facebook, it's find every way possible to raise their voices. This is the moment. 